Hello, welcome to Pre-Technical Mathematics. This video lecture is on the addition and subtraction of fractions. Chapter 7, Section 6. Now what we need to remember, when adding or subtracting fractions, it requires, remember, the least common denominator. So actually, we can understand that adding and subtracting fractions is a little bit harder than multiplying and dividing fractions, which we just went over. So let's get started with this one that looks fairly simple. Uh, the least common denominator in this one would be x times y. So we have the y portion we need to multiply this by x, and we have the x, so we need to multiply this by five. y. <laughs> okay, so what we end up with is x squared plus 5y over our least common denominator of xy. All right, we're not going to say this simple. We're going to work with some more complicated problems. But we'll get enough examples for you. Okay, we're going to jump to number 30. Now, we have to find the least common denominator. Well, our y is common are x plus 1 and x plus 2. So um, let's re-emphasize what our least common denominator is. y times x plus 1 times x plus 2. That will become our least common denominator. Now, of that least common den denominator, what does this denominator not have? It's the x plus 2. So we need to take the top and we need to multiply it by x plus 2. Now this one, what do I not have? x plus 1. So this numerator we need to multiply by x plus 1. So what I end up with is 5x plus 10 plus, this will become x squared plus x over the least common denominator. So let's <coughs> combine like terms. We'll have x squared plus 6x plus 10 over the least common denominator. And that, of course, is this. All right. Ready? Try this one. Check your answers in the course documents. Okay, we're going to start to get even a little more complicated and really get your skills working. This is a trinomial that can be factored into a binomial. And that binomial, let's see, this would be 3 times 6. That's going to get us to 9. So a minus 6 and a minus 3. Really working on your factoring skills, aren't we? Negative 6a, negative 3a, negative 6 times negative 3 is positive 18. Okay. Now this is the difference of squares. 
So it's a plus 3, a minus 3. So what is our least common denominator? Let's say we have to have the a minus 6. have to have the a plus 3 and a minus 3 is common to both. So that's our least common denominator. Now we have to determine what's missing from here. That would be the a plus 3. So we're going to multiply the top times the a plus 3. Now this one, a plus 3, a minus 3, we need the a minus 6. Okay, so let's step it out, a plus 3 plus a times a minus 6 all over our least common denominator. So what we end up with a squared plus 3a plus a squared minus 6a. common denominator. So we'll combine like terms. 2a squared minus 3a over the least common denominator. Okay? So the only difference in this one is we had to factor our trinomial. Here's another one for us to work on. Alright, this is the difference of squares. So we know that to be x minus 3, x plus 3. Now we have to factor this one. We have an x and an x probably 3 times 3. Okay, so now our least common denominator is, now watch, it's a little tricky, least common denominator is x plus 3 squared, because you have two of them here, squared times x minus 3. All right, so we have an x minus 3 and an x plus 3. We need to multiply this by x uh, plus 3. We need one more x plus 3. We have x plus 3, x plus 3, you need to multiply this by x minus 3. Okay, let's see what we got. x plus 4. minus 3 times x minus 3 and that's all over our least common denominator. Okay, 
So now we're going to do the reverse. We're going to find the product of two binomials. So that should be x squared. We have 4x and 3x gives us 7x. 4 times 3 is 12 minus now, you notice I put this minus, and that minus affects this whole side. So I'm going to put a parenthesis around this trinomial so that I don't forget that that minus applies. So we have x squared, negative 3x and negative 5x, negative 8x, plus 15. over our least common denominator. All right, now, all we have to simplify, do is simplify it down. We got x squared minus x squared. We have 7x, and this turns into a positive, and this turns into a negative because of this negative out here. Let's see, this shouldn't be 8, this should be 6. 3x and 3x is 6. Thank you. So 7x plus 6x, it gives us our 13x, and 12 minus which is 9. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, 12. Plus 9. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting confused here, and I don't want to do this to you. Let me just try this over. Okay. So we have x squared plus 7x plus 12 minus. Now let's see if I can do this much better. x squared minus 6x plus 9. That's much better. Now when we distribute the negative inside, this ends up a negative x, a positive 6x, and a negative 9. So we have x squared minus x squared, 7x plus 6x is 13x, and 12 minus 9 is positive 3 over the LCD. Sorry if I confused you on that, but I think redoing it a little bit uh, helps us out. Okay? Here's one for you. Check your answers with the course documents. Okay, this is the last problem in this lecture. And it's a doozy, isn't it? Okay. First, we have to find the least common denominator of this lower 
fraction. So our least common denominator would equal 5x. So we need to multiply this by 5 and this by x. So I get 5 minus x over 5x. That's what's on the bottom. And we have, we want to keep our x squared minus 25 on the top. Now in in order to get rid of the denominator, we invert. So we'll multiply this top by 5x in order to get rid of this. So this is perfect squares again, x minus 5. x plus 5, 5x over 5 minus x. Now the x minus 5 and 5 minus x will cancel as long as I multiply the top by negative 1. So carry that negative 1 into your answer. Okay, I'm sure you heard that phone ring in the middle of our work. So let's see where we were. Okay, we were saying that x minus 5 is the same thing as 5 minus x as long as we multiply that by negative 1. That negative 1 has to be carried through. Okay, so what we have here is a negative 5x times x plus 5. And that's our answer. Okay, looked really complicated, didn't it? But if you take it one step at a time, it's okay. That's the end of this lecture. Thank you.